The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Mohammed bin Thamr al kabi revealed the, as part, that as part of the logistic services sector strategy to transform the airport into a comprehensive and advanced logistic hub, Bahrain Airport Company is negotiating with a global air cargo company to lease space in the air cargo area. al kabi stated that Bahrain Airport Company has completed the second phase of expanding the air cargo area by building 12 warehouses with a total area of 6,000 square meters, which increased the air cargo capacity to 1 million million metric tons. He affirmed the continued development of the infrastructure at Bahrain International Airport in line with the logistics services sector strategy 2022-2026 with the aim of raising Bahrain's ranking in this vital sector to be among the top 20 countries globally and increasing the number of air travel destinations to more than 70. The minister also pointed out the completion of infrastructure works to handle air, air cargo movements and e-commerce in order to establish a comprehensive and advanced logistics center. The center will include specialized facilities to serve various cargo operation or op operators at the highest levels, providing high cargo capacity and advanced technologies to efficiently handle air cargo and ensure smooth product flow. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Bint Najib Tawfiqi, received the Director of Faith in Leadership Organization, Krish Raval. Tawfiqi emphasized the ministry's keenness to expand its collaboration with various civil society organizations in order to create the appropriate environment for young people to develop their skills as well as their scientific and practical knowledge. She explained that the ministry is continuously working to develop and improve its programs, including the Masari program, which was relaunched in a new and enhanced uh, version for its second edition. For his part, the Director of Faith and Leadership expressed his admiration for the Bahrain Youth Experience, which has achieved great success, evident in the achievements of the Bahrain Youth in various fields. Al Azam Toastmasters Club uh, concluded the second edition of the completion from the spirit of Ramadan, which aims to motivate and encourage youth of determination to be creative in various media principles or disciplines, including uh, photography, editing, directing, and production. The competition framework was structured around four key objectives, reinforcing a spirit of active citizenship and national belonging among the youth, highlighting inspired success stories that exemplify noble ethical principles, showcasing the humanitarian and social impact of voluntary community work and celebrating the rich culture and civilizational heritage of Bahrain. The Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture launched a mobile arboretum initiative during Ramadan to help raise environmental awareness and also encourage citizens to participate in afforestation efforts. The ministry, in cooperation with the Capital Municipal Council and Municipal Councils, distributed 4,455 seedlings to citizens and residents. The initiative covered 14 areas throughout uh, the Kingdom's governance. It aligns with the Kingdom's commitment to achieving carbon neutrality by 2060 as well as the National Afforestation strategy. Through this initiative, the ministry seeks to increase community participation and voluntary work and attract ideas that contribute to creating a society interested in afforestation and preserving the environment and to contribute to increasing the density of afforestation in the areas. The mobile uh, arborment initiative is the first of its kind in the Kingdom of Bahrain and comes with the aim of promoting sustainable development in the country. The kingdom's main landmarks and buildings were adorned with His Majesty the King's photos and the logo of His Majesty's accession to the throne. Many main buildings across the capital, Manama, were also lit up with red and blue colors marking the kingdom's celebrations of the 25th anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne and Eid al-Fitr. The initiative aims to inform visitors about the ongoing Eid al-Fitr festivities and the year-long Silver Jubilee celebrations of His Majesty's reign. Umsiyat al-Manama or Manama Evenings witnessed great attendance due to its tourism events and artistic performances as well as cultural activities which embodies the spirit of diversity and the rich heritage of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The event was held in conjunction with the selection of Manama as uh, the Gulf Tourism Capital 2024. Manama Evenings included a variety of tourist events, live artistic and musical performances, cultural and entertainment activities targeting all family members in addition to a bazaar that uh, brings together retail points displaying a variety of traditional handmade and craft goods and souvenirs. Manama Evenings come and as an ideal opportunity for visitors to the Kingdom of Bahrain to learn closely about Bahrain's heritage and its ancient cultural legacy, which has led it to become an attractive destination for tourists from all over the world.